Welcome back to Woodcrafter's Corner. I am coming at you today in a blue shirt. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss everything you need to whittle your own chest set. So uh, obviously there's a little bit of planning involved because we're going from a bunch of pre-made blanks like these. And these you can just buy on eBay or Amazon. They're just one by one by six inch pieces of basswood. Um, so what we're gonna cover is how you can divide these up in measurements for each piece that you'll need. Obviously you'll need pawns and bishops and uh, kings, queens, knights, all that stuff. So all we need to do is measure these and make a few marks and then we'll have it all planned out. We can just cut them out and whittle them down as we go. And what we'll end up with is a bunch of blanks like these, for example, for the pawns and different sizes of ones a little bit taller for the other ones. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, so let's talk about the measurements for a second. So first of all, the measurement I have, and you can, you can take note of this, uh, but I'll leave it in the description as well. We need a total of 16 pawns. Now, of course, we're making both sides of the chest side here. So 16 pawns, four bishops, four rooks, four knights, two kings, and two queens. So for each of the 16 pawns, those are measured at 1.25 inches. Uh, you can't really read my handwriting here, but 1.25 inches, one and a quarter. And then the rooks and the knights are each 1.5 inches. The bishops are two inches and the kings and queens are two and a half inches. So those are your measurements for each one. So we needed to divide those up as in as few pieces of basswood as possible. Um, now you, if you're a mathematician, may be a lot smarter than me, but I was able to make it work only across nine pieces of one by one by six inch basswood. So that's what I've got here. Uh, so two, four, six, eight, nine pieces of basswood. So I've measured them out. Okay, and real quick, I decided to write the uh, measurements on there. So to start with, we've got two blanks that are identical here. The first two include the rook here, which is 1.5 inches, the bishop, which is two inches, and the king, which is two and a half inches. So we need two of those. Then we have two more rooks, again, each at 1.5 inches, two more bishops, again, each at two inches, and then we have uh, two queens, both at 2.5 inches. So we got two of those. Now these two, actually you'll need three, so these are kind of categorized as themselves, and these are the pawns. Each one is 1.25 inches, with a little bit left over at the edge there, unfortunately. Uh, but you could use that for another project. So there's four pawns on each blank here. Um, so we have three of those, 1.25 inches. So those are kind of off by themselves. And then finally, we have two knights, each at 1.5 inch, and two pawns, 1.25 inches, and two of those. Okay, so with all of that, you're gonna be left with 16 pawns, four bishops, four rooks, four knights, two kings, and two queens, with everything you see here. So the next step is simply to use whatever method you want. If you have a table saw, a band saw, a, a coping saw, any handsaw basically, or if you're just really strong and you can split them off, which is impossible, then you could do whatever method. And what you'll be left with is a bunch of blanks like these here. So these are pawns and also a bishop uh, that I've started to use to carve. And as you can see, they're just little blanks here, very simple. And all we're gonna do is carve those down into the shapes we want. So that just about covers everything you need to get started, but stay tuned because in the next video in the playlist we're going to start with the pawn and we're going to start using the blanks that we cut out for this. Um, now again, if you need the measurements and if you want a picture with everything here that makes it really easy to keep track, then um, check the link in the description. I'll leave a link for that so it'll make it a little bit easier on you, but at least this gives you an idea. So make the measurements on the basswood, cut them out into each individual piece like this, and you'll be set. Join us in the next episode where we whittle the pawn, and from there on, we'll be whittling each one of these until you have a complete set with the board at the end. Thanks for watching.